If you want to get an FPS boost on your Steam Deck and get more performance for absolutely free, then Cryo Utilities is the right tool to do that. Hey everyone, how's it going? TG Geek back here again, and today I'm going to be making a video on Cryo Utilities. So to the uninformed, Cryo Utilities is a application sort of script that you can install to your Steam Deck to give you more FPS and better performance. But before you back off thinking it's overclocking or messing with the wattage of the TDP of the processor or you know shortening your battery life, it actually is none of those things. So the way that Cryo Utilities works, it is sort of just a script that modifies uh, like the file system of the Steam Deck and it just increases the FPS. Don't ask me how it works. Uh, as a matter of fact, this is made by a YouTuber called Cryobyte33. I'll link his GitHub where you can get Cryo Utilities as well as his channel down below if you want a more in-depth look at it. But basically, it's not an overclock or anything like that, but it will in fact net you even more performance. So just as a baseline, this is Horizon Zero Dawn, ultra quality with Fidelity FX Super Resolution. We're getting, you know, 50 to 60 FPS, just saw a dip to the 40s. No, FPS isn't super consistent. There's the full metrics for anyone who's curious. And it says FSR is off, but it's on internally within the game. And we're at 720p. So this is stock. We get pretty much about 50 FPS on ultra settings. But with Cryo Utilities, we'll see how much we can bump that up. And this works on any game. So the first step, you know, close any applications that you may have running and, you know, just go to your homepage. Now, if you guys, you know, may notice I have uh, themes and different presets and stuff going on in my Steam Deck with these different wallpapers and stuff. If you guys want to set that up for yourself, that's an entirely separate topic. I made a video on it recently. It is called Deck Eat Loader. Go check out that video after if you're interested. But it lets you get different themes and plugins for your Steam Deck. Now, back to Cryo Utilities. First thing that we're going to want to do is switch to desktop mode. You can either press the Steam button, go to power, and then hit it there, or hold down the power button and hit it in here. So let's go to desktop mode. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you have a browser installed. If you do not have a browser installed, this little store right here, you can go down to that store, click it, and install Chrome, Firefox, whatever you want. Whenever you click on it, Firefox is one of the first things on the list. And if you aren't already aware, Steam plus X brings up your keyboard. If you are not doing this with a full keyboard and mouse like I am, I'm just doing it on the Steam Deck itself because that's how most people are probably going to set this up. So this is the GitHub page for Cryo Utilities. I'll leave the link down below. But if you search Cryo Utilities for Steam Deck or Cryo Utilities GitHub, you should find it on the Steam Deck. So just scroll down on this exact page until you get to this part that says install. So what you want to do is hover over this link with your cursor, then press your left trigger, and then click save link as. And then the easiest place to put it is click on desktop. So now if we look up here in the corner, this is the exact file that we just downloaded. So if you double click on the installer to open this window, you can click continue. And then it runs these commands here and then it starts downloading. So put this off to the side and wait for that to finish. All right, so that took maybe about five minutes. It'll be faster or slower depending on your Wi-Fi, but it says Cryo Utilities has been completed. You can just click OK. And then now you'll see some new apps on your desktop and I'll bring them all to the bottom. So this is the installer that we downloaded earlier. The three new apps that we just installed are Cryo Utilities, Uninstall Cryo Utilities, or Update Cryo Utilities. Now all around Cryo Utilities hypothetically is supposed to be an upgrade, but for whatever reason if you want to revert your Steam Deck back to how it was before, he does include a uh, uninstaller with, you know, that. So let's open Cryo Utilities. And you have to accept the uh, terms and conditions. And then it asks for your sudo slash deck password, which means that you have to set up a password. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that real quick. So in order to set up a deck password from the Steam icon in the lower corner, you just press that. Then you go to system. And then under system, you'll see console slash terminal. You click on that. Now we just need to maximize this, make it a little bigger. So what you need to type in right here, if you have a keyboard, use that. If not, Steam plus X. P a S S W D pass W D and then you can press enter. Now it asks for your new password. Now just a little warning, uh, not really a warning, you know, just, you know, FYI, as you type out your password, it's not going to show anything right here, which is for security reasons. They do ask you the password again, make sure it's the same one, but you're not going to see it as you type it out. Exactly. So yeah, I'm going to set my password up. And then we'll go back to getting Cryo Utilities set up. So after your password is typed in, you can just press submit. And now we are in Cryo Utilities. So there's a lot of different tabs from home, swap, memory, storage, and VRAM. 
Now, this is for people who are, you know, really technically knowledged and, you know, they want to tweak their Steam Deck, get the absolute best performance, and they're not afraid of messing some things up. If you just want to get some extra performance and stay on the safe side, you just come here and click on the recommended settings. From what I've seen, the recommended settings are pretty much almost to the limits of what the Steam Deck can do anyway without harming it. So what I'm trying to say is you're going to get the best experience possible if you just stick with recommended. So let's click on recommended settings. And now it's applying the recommended settings. I've heard that this might take a couple minutes depending on how many games are on your SSD. So I'm just going to put it down and wait for it to finish. All right, that literally took maybe a minute, minute and a half. It was much quicker than I thought it would be, but it says recommended settings are applied. So uh, definitely don't need this. So we can just press OK. And now we can close Cry Utilities, and that's the cool thing about Cry Utilities. Once you just apply it like that, you're done, and you can just get to gaming with more FPS and better performance than before. So let's switch back to Horizon Zero Dawn. Originally we were getting about 50 FPS. Let's see if, you know, we got a little boost out of that. Alright, so we're booted back up into gaming mode. And let's go right back into Horizon Zero Dawn where we left off earlier. And earlier we had the FPS drop into the high 40s, but now it's actually sticking to, you know, upper 50s and closer to 60. So yeah, I'd call that a success. After using Cryo Utilities, we're getting almost a lock 60 FPS. This is just like the prologue, so I'm sure the FPS would be lower in the open world areas. But, but it's pretty obvious to tell that it's better than it was before. So yeah, I hope this video helped you guys out and, uh, you know... Hope that you guys can get a little more extra performance out of your Steam Decks. And if it helped you out, drop a like. I'd appreciate it a ton. The GitHub for Cryobyte33 as well as his YouTube channel will be linked below. The creator of this utility. So shout out to him for, you know, making this in the first place. And yeah, that's all for me. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>